Okay, fellas, let's <laughs> get back to the track. Last challenge of today, last part of the theory about observe observing a painting is this one, a question about materials. <clears throat> Can you see the screen? Can you see the meme? Every one of you? Okay, that's perfect. <clears throat> Uh, third one of one of my of some of my favorite memes about art, <laughs> at least. Uh, it, well, it, it is not a meme; it's just a famous screenshot about what it requires to be an artist. Mm, apart from that, uh, it's just something to break the ice and reintroduce the third part of the um, of the topic. Then, um, because it's the time to talk about materials and about how materials are rendered in a painting. OK, <clears throat> um, how much uh, are you familiar with the theme of material? How much you put the focus on depicting a specific uh, uh, consistency of the surfaces you paint? Because this might be hard or not, depending on how you're used to visualize things or wo work with textures or work with shades and stuff like that. By the way, there is still a way to improve your way to depict a, ma a material. Because maybe it is frustrating to actually paint something uh, that every uh, like everything is good with values, everything is good with edges, everything is good uh, with like all the various things that might not be working. Uh, in the scene, but materials are still <laughs> a complicated topic. Okay, not so complicated at all. Also, because we have the tools now to uh, deconstru 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 to deconstruct uh, the scheme, de deconstruct how they are made in terms of illusion, and see together where they fit in this whole observation process. Okay. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> it is interesting to see that materials, when are depicted like in in as a, um, let's say to a crisp, uh, they give us uh, almost a synesthetic feeling. You know, you know when uh, well, I, I took the example here from for, from the Studio Ghibli's food actually because it's one of the <laughs> uh, one of the the best examples about something that. Uh, uh, makes you wanna eat something you see. Yes, there's a point. There's a point. We are also about to have a, um, a little break for the snacks and stuff like that. So that like, it's normal to talk about food now. But the thing is that uh, like this is one of the criteria that we have to respect in order to achieve the exact point of a material, even if we are not using a properly realistic side. Because as you can see, uh, the the food has to be animated, of course, so that it, it can be properly painted. It has been simplified and uh, most of the job is being done also by the animation, because if you see the food animated, you really want to eat so bad. So there's a point, like it's something that <clears throat> uh, increases more and more and more the illusion of synesthesia in this case, you know. But the most important fact is that you are really angry if you see this kind of things rendered like this, maybe for the colors, I don't know, maybe for the highlights, or maybe for the, well, the just position of the shapes. It depends by a lot of different uh, cases, a lot of different param parameters, but we are here to deconstruct them. Even for what concerns some, some simplified style, like a cartoon style or an anime style, or um, animated movie in general style. <clears throat> So in terms of uh, painting, every material has a roster of qualities that makes it, uh, makes it unique at the viewer's side. That's determined how the light hit and respond differently according to each material. So that's the point, because every material has its own index of reflection, refraction, uh, its own proper way to respond to the, to the light. And every material somehow in this kind of world of illusion can manifest through light, like if if we are in the darkness, there is no possibility to to see uh, the characteristics of some surfaces, for example. And we can see that only if it's heated by light in a specific way or in a specific case. Even by diffuse light, is the same. Like uh, um, 
our perception of the material comes from how it behaves with light every time. So they're not living without light, of course. Of course, not just by the paintings and stuff like that. <laughs>